hey what's up guys all right this is going to be a short and simple tutorial on how to create a button that opens a new window in Android studio all right so we're going to make it fast and we're gonna make it simple and easy to understand for beginners all right so first thing we do is click on start a new Android project and I'm going to call mine big um, C yeah I should say big app yeah I'm going to call mine big app and I'll click next and we're going to keep the regular settings which is we're compiling and we're making it basically for a phone and tablet so just the first one will be selected the minimum SDK is API 14, which is Android 4.0, ice cream sandwich, blah, 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 blah. That's pretty much it. We're not going to be selecting any of those other stuff. Click next. And I like to start from an empty activity. Not a blank activity, but an empty activity. So we click on empty activity. And blank and empty, not the same. But we won't be getting into that right now. Clicking next. All right, our first act, what they're asking you know, what is your activity name? So we're going to first. And finish. Just give it a simple name. So Gradle will start to build our um, project out for us. All right, so first things first, you're greeted with this page, which says public class first, which is what we gave it the name as extends app compact activity and then we see our uncreate method our uncreate method we're not going to mess with that basically that's telling telling our application at what point in our um our java class it should start so that's where it is so we're not going to mess with that what we're going to be doing though is going over to res folder click on it and clicking on layout and we're going to click on that activity xml our xml really is um the whole whole how um our elements are laid out for our, our app so that's how it is and we can see a graphical representation of our app so i will be deleting this hello world it will be deleted it doesn't want to go but it will be deleted go don't want you hello world and we'll be putting in a text plain text view you find it right under widgets and we'll just extend that extend it to whatever dimensions you like because we will not be messing with the text we'll just be changing it double click on that bar and when you see text you could write something like this is our first view and we're not going to be changing the text ID because we're not going to be manipulating the text. However, we will be adding a button. So you can click on any button on the widgets. Add the button. Double click on the button. We'll be calling this button push me. And we'll be calling it but, but one. And okay. And we are set if you click on this button right now it will do nothing and we so we need our next activity so what you're going to do to create your new activity follow the steps very correctly or exactly i should say and an activity is really what android calls its next screen its next view the next window if that's how you see it so we'll click on our project right here there are two of them with the same name. One says Android test. Obviously, that's not what we want. We'll be clicking right on below it. Then we go to file, file, and click on, scroll all the way down to new activity. And once again, we'll select empty activity. All right. So they're asking us what should be the name of this activity. So I'm calling this one second. Okay and we're clicking finish all right so we see an uh, uncreate method for the second anyways we'll be going right back to our first java that we named before 
and right we are going to be spacing down right where it says override spacing down and we're going to be creating some public elements here so we're creating public button and public button and we're going to call our button but one and put your colon semicolon really and then we're going to be creating um, a method so we're saying public void I call mine init it takes no arguments open parentheses and now we're going to start putting in our button so but one that we just named equals open brackets button with a capital B just click on that and then we're going to type find see comes up right here find view by ID click on that R as in resource ID as in the ID of the resource and where we see our name of our button that comes up button one or but one so put that so it would be r.id.but1 and we put our semicolon right there to finish our statement now it's time to wire our button so this is where the good stuff come in so it's time to wire our button so we can just simply do but1 dot and we're going to set an on click listener set on click listener that and then inside the bracket will have new and capital on and there it is it comes up on click listener whatever 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 what you simply do is you just instead of writing out that long on click method you just click enter and it does the writing for you so what is going to go in this we're going to write an intent and intent is telling Android what you are intending to do what is it you want to do so intent and I'm going to call my intent um, do all right I'm not gonna call it do I'm gonna call it mm, toy yeah toy my intent toy equals new and we're gonna put in a new intent and the new intent is we're going to put in our class name that we're in which is first dot this and comma and we're going to put in the name of our new Java that we want to execute which would be second it's our new class second dot class all right comma okay and that's pretty much it for the wiring of the buttons your button is basically wired now this init method will have to put it in our uncreate method so it gets run when the program is started so we put in it that's what I call my method all right get in okay it's <laughs> in it yeah there it is and we have that saved now let's look back this is the the screen that is going to be called which is our second XML we could put a text in here that we know that this is the one that's being called so we just select a text um, widget from up here and we're just gonna name, simply name it in the text double click on it and name it the second screen so we know when it when it comes up all right so that's it so this says the second screen and our first activity xml just says this is our first screen all right and pretty much guys that's how it gets done so we're going to click run and we're going to select our emulator and see what happens so we're waiting our in on our emulator to come up my computer takes a while but it's going to come up and we're what we're intending to do is to see uh, first screen come up with a button the push me button when the push me button comes up 
we should push that button and get our next screen so that is basically how we'll be opening uh, one screen from the other so we're still waiting most of the times these emulators are a little bit slow so that's it ah there we are so this is it this is our first view okay and this is the button we created let's see if it works click all right waiting on the button all right i think i just registered a click no a button's not going according to plan let's see what's going on here oh guys i forgot to mention um when you create the second activity your second your your first your second activity you should have this when you click this button okay guys i saw um i forgot to mention in order to get your button working after putting intent and your new intent and all of that you have to put start this is very important i just left that out start activity and then you have to start your intent else it won't work so after putting intent the name of the intent and wiring up your intent you must put right after that in your on click view start activity just like i have that and put in the name of your activity so mine is start activity that toy or start activity in print um in brackets toy all right so it should work now all right guys so clicking starting up again and let's see what happens uh, waiting for it to refresh the new app starts up takes a little while again but it should start up in any moment now there it is so this is it guys you push me there it is our second screen that's the thing with coding guys sometimes you just leave out something a basic thing and that's how it works it doesn't work anyway so that's what you should have put in start activity right under your intent thank you guys for watching um please subscribe please thumbs up if you like this video